Hi, this is uh, Ibrahim Asa. I wanted to uh, introduce you um, these great tools that I've been using uh, for quite some time uh, and uh, also um, introduce to you actually the, the, the method I've been using for being actually more efficient uh, in uh, my localization work, you know, um, these tutorials uh, have like three objectives, if you can say. Uh, so, uh, the first objective is to actually to familiarize you with uh, uh, the Translate uh, Toolkit, the tools uh, from uh, Translate House. That's uh, former Translate dot uh, dot org that the day. Uh, and also the second uh, um, objective is uh, to give all localizers practice uh, using um, using these tools and to give them practical tips uh, to work more efficiently with the, those tools that I talked about in the first objectives. And 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 last but not least is actually to to to, to get more people using um, uh, uh, this these tools to move, get more pe people come to to Putel and and Virtal which are very 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 efficient tools uh, for for localizing uh, uh, this is going to be quite a long tutorial uh, because I want it to be like more more complete in going into s a few details uh, that uh, are like more easily understandable when uh, on video than like on text and, uh, and stuff like that so uh, it's going to be relatively long so I'm going to, to split the whole work into like three to four stages you know the first stage being uh, just like to to introduce the tools like transit toolkit uh, is uh, quite complex to introduce because it's uh, it involves a lot of like uh, uh, a lot of uh, like command line uh, stuff, uh, which is not our purpose here. Uh, but the two tools and uh, which are using the technology from Translate Toolkit that are that are called Virtal and Puto, the which is uh, the the server, the PO server. Then the, uh, in the second stage, actually, we're going to talk about like how to translate with uh, Virtal. Just go into Virtal and doing some hand on hands-on translation of, of like PO files. Also uh, showing people how to translate with Puto and then uh, to show the interaction between the two. So the second, uh, the third like uh, um, stage will be like the workflow that I've been using that's been really really efficient uh, and, and fast and like uh, uh, no stress and uh, also keeping some kind of motivation very high with like big projects like Firefox and stuff. Mm. And then uh, uh, the the last stage uh, we will be uh, how to actually uh, uh, I mean re-upload all the the localization stuff we've been doing with that workflow to re-upload re them to Poodle and and talk about some follow-up uh, after afterwards. Um, so first of all, as I said. We are going to talk about uh, the two lo uh, localization tools that are Virtal and uh, and Puto. So I'm going to start first of all with uh, with uh, Virtal, which is really uh, a, a really really nice tool uh, developed uh, with uh, the uh, Translate Toolkit. And uh, so just launch Virtal here. Uh, and we're going to to, to start uh, showing uh, all the f the features, uh, not not completely all, but you know some of the important features that we can talk about here. That like, well, you know, it's quite a simple interface, and uh, if you can like have a look, uh, it uh, it's all been localized in my language, that is Fula. Uh, and uh, if we can like have a look at uh, the 
the, the, the menus here, uh, which are, I'm gonna just make it smaller so you can see the menus. So you, you got like file, edit, and uh, view, navigation, help, you know, quite some classic uh, uh, like menu. So let's start uh, and show people uh, for instance how to um, uh, how to how to uh, localize with, with Vital. Maybe I'm gonna take a an an example of like uh, uh, my projects I've got here, uh, which projects are not yet uh, finished. So just like by chance here, my last uh, my as you can see in 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 the file manager, you can like sort files to get. Uh, uh, to get them by date or by name, so it might be quite convenient for people who want to uh, to work with like more recent files. When you you know this is 10th of May, I got extracted pure files here. So uh, let's check Firefox of uh, Firefox uh, Fuller 10th of May. This is Aurora 22. That's already done. So, so what we yeah I'm gonna just like to open any any file here apps and browser uh, browser properties you know what well, yeah, yes here you are in the interface of it as you can see like it's very simple you just click on uh, a definition and then on a word and then just like write it here what's interesting about Vita will will uh, will come back to Vita later is uh, it can do like uh, a lot of things not just uh, uh, not just uh, translate okay uh, we will come uh, um, back to Vita when we start like doing actual uh, translation work in this tutorial okay so we're just going to close this file and just leave Vita for some time the second tool is like the Putin server uh, so uh, this is the the portal server where we are um okay so i just want to hide this so let's see what i um, should be doing to hide this i want to hide this uh, so i'm gonna just okay right so if you s we here in in uh, in uh, in portal server as you can see um, it is uh, pretty simple um, uh, as far as like interface is uh, concerned uh, so let's go just to the home page and see uh, how portal is organized you you know there's no like uh, uh, no steps to to I mean to to go through you just you have directly like projects language and stuff so all you have to do is click on the project so what I'll do first is like uh, to just connect to uh, my uh, to my uh, um, just connect to my account if you haven't got an account on Poodle just just create one it's pretty simple uh, and uh, so I'm gonna type uh, my password here and then as you can see uh, the Poodle is also localized in Fula so uh, when I uh, when I actually go to to portal i can like choose the language that i want to to use for the for the interface you can see that here it's like project languages it's in english so i leave it in english uh, for you to is because it's easier if, uh, if i leave it in english than like actually put it in in full so look like we have like the project here uh and then you got like firefox uh, firefox os Firefox health report, Firefox on uh, Git, and then Firefox OS terminology, web parts, and everything. So you you have a uh, here. I mean the, the the project list, and then the language list here on the left, and also you, you have news. You know you, you you have actually some kind of feed on like everything that's happening on Portal, like especially uh, when people register and when people actually upload. A file so uh, most of the 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 thing that people do are logged uh, by 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 this server like if you go further down we can uh, see like the, we have also some some activity log here like just showing like who is who's been contributing and uh, what they've been contributing and uh, like uh, actually some um, 
some statistics on like what they've been doing, uh, etc. So uh, we're not going to go into that in detail, but just uh, another uh, thing to show you that you have here the, a list of contributors and uh, the the about page uh, I would like to see. So if you can see, we are on uh, 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 portal two uh, dot two dot oh. That's the release candidate one. Uh, which is uh, really, really, for me personally, uh, a big revolution compared to the, f the very first uh, version that I've been using when I started uh, translating with uh, with with Buddha. Right. So pretty simple. So we will, we will go back to the the page. So I'm gonna kind of like just show you how to get into a project. So let's go. You know, Firefox. Uh, uh, is uh, here that's a Firefox Aurora 22 we should be having the Aurora 23 quite shortly I'm sure Dwayne Bailey is uh, working uh, uh, on this so, uh, by the way yeah, I really want to thank uh, Dwayne uh, Friedel and all the people that uh, have been like uh, working on these great tools so I'm the living proof that actually <laughs> Um, these uh, these tools uh, do do work. They they are efficient, and then they are doing actually just exactly more than uh, they intended. So just uh, I'm here in Firefox and in, in Fula. If you look at the, actually the 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 address bar, the lo the location bar, you can see that we're in Mozilla dot locomotion dot org we are in the fuller folder ff and firefox okay so i we found a bug like showing that there's a problem with the breadcrumbs here because it, here normally we should have firefox as here and then fuller uh, after that like just here you have like the server the language and the project and he, so, but here you have the project the uh, the projects, the project, and the language. This is quite funny. Usually, so you know, we, if you click here, we have like other languages which I really don't need. So that's uh, just a little wink to the uh, uh, the, um, the the developers uh, of Poodle who've been quite busy lately on Bugzilla, uh, trying to sort all the things, etc. Et so, um, uh, so actually, uh, you you have like the PO files that are. Uh, uh, in in all these folders, okay. I think these folders like um, are made uh, just to make life easier. If you see, uh, I'll just click on a folder is config one and the browser. You kind of like go straight into the actual uh, PO files. You know these are the just spot files, uh, PO files that you can when you can click them, you can actually start translating uh, straight away. This translation is complete, you know. I, um, you know, uh, that's also some kind of proof that you know the the workflow I'm using uh, is quite interesting. So yeah, it's very simple. You have like uh, the the source language here. This is the translation, and a very nice feature here is like showing uh, the uh, the actual uh, like characters that I need uh, to 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 for my language. Uh, in case you know I have I don't have the the, the proper like uh, uh, the keyboard uh, keyboard layout okay so you have also terminology here like showing uh, uh, like some um, definitions of words that are being used in that that translation etc so quite quite interesting we'll come back uh, to that navigating into Poodle is uh, it's a quite simple actually um, you you just like uh, go to the bottom here bottom right and click uh, next string uh, etc so it's quite it's quite uh, easy you know uh, uh, Putal is and Virtal are very interesting in that they they actually tell you what's wrong in real time so, you know you know when when for instance you know in this so um, uh, you can you can actually show uh, what uh, the errors are and we'll come back uh, to that uh, if I put a, a full stop in this string and there's no full stop, actually, it would tell me that the end punct the, the problem with end punctuation, so I can change that. Okay, right, good. So um, we've uh, we've went, we've gone through like uh, just the basic features of the two like tools like Vertal, which is a, an, 
uh, offline translation as we we saw this is a dex a windows desktop actually it's a uh, it's a windows desktop desktop program it, it's also used uh, available for for linux so it's in an offline program it's not connected to the internet you have to download the 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 files to to translate them and then we upload them but but as you can see Poodle is an online program because it's a server so you when you translate in Putl, uh, uh the the translations like are directly stored to you have nothing like to download and to re-upload unless you want to use an offline uh, program uh, that is Putl. so this is a like just the first uh, few minutes of this t t tutorial uh, intended like to to, to show you what like Putl and uh, and Vital actually uh, look like but as I said earlier uh, Putl and Vital use like translate translate toolkit um, uh, te technology and that's also uh, developed by uh, uh, Translate House so you can go to to their website which is the Translate House, uh, Translate House. Uh, Vital powerful uncluttered uh, X Elif uh, and the PO editor, and also uh, uh, put all the project to you, and you can go to like uh, to download and see the documentation if you want. Also, that's uh, uh, translate translate house dot dot org. Okay, so uh, very like simple and straightforward website, but uh, really like uh, rich documentation. Okay. So, uh, uh, as I said, uh, Putl and Vital so use the Translate Toolkit. Uh, so, if you go to the pr the product, you'll see what Translate Toolkit is. You know, it's just a localization engineering toolkit, and uh, it provides tools like to process, transform, and uh, manage languages. Okay, you cannot be more straightforward and more and more simple. Right, good. So, that's it for the first. Uh, video so we're going to go on to uh, stage uh, one uh, in a few minutes thank you hi welcome back to our tutorial uh, this uh, uh, part of the tutorial is uh, actually to show you um, some like uh, straight hands-on uh, use of uh, Vital, how to how we translate, and also to look at a few um, a few features of Vital that might be interesting uh, uh, to to you. Yes. And then we'll uh, go to to the Putl server, and then also show uh, people how to translate uh, directly in in Putl. So this is the the the, the second part of our tutorial. Uh, remember that we talked about what was Putl and what is uh, Vertal and uh, looked at the interface and, and stuff like that. Okay, first of all, with Vertal, it is uh, important to to know um, or like uh, the sc how the screen is presented. As you can see here, you you have uh, your your menus here, and it's quite uh, it's quite small menu, you know. But I think the the whole of the interface is. Uh, dedicated to the actual translation work which is interesting so you don't have like long and sophisticated menus and difficult navigation so everything is uh, quite simple uh, also you might probably need to put Vital in your language if it's uh, if your language is, is supported I, I I have a, a Vital in uh, Fula usually but this time it is uh, I put um, the interface in English just to allow everybody to to read uh, the menus and the messages correctly but to do that to do so I mean if you happen to install Vital what you have to do is like go to to your uh, your explorer I'm using a windows but you might you know have Linux and everything so it's always already in a, if you, where you install Vital you will have a a dot uh, Vital folder in Linux so in Windows uh, just go to to like users uh, so I'm, I'm using a, a, a Windows in French go to updata and roaming you will see there a uh, a virtual folder so when you open it there is a virtual uh, dot any here and uh, just like uh, 
open it like with a notepad, notepad plus plus and everything. So you will you see like a few parameters that you can actually uh, uh, hack. But the most important parameter to put your uh, your your filter in English in or in any language is just like to to go to this section user in user. Um, uh, it's not user interface, but you know, uh, user user language that is uh, e e n u e. The u e lang is like a, a user interface or something like that. You put it just in your language by typing the language code uh, of your language there, and then save. Make sure when you do that, Vital is closed. Otherwise, it would like revert back to the last uh, setting. So before you you actually open this file and and, uh, and edit it just like uh, close virtual first uh, i didn't do that because i i don't i'm not really actually ch ch uh, switching to another language just to show you uh what to how to change language and then this this uh let's go on now to the to the very screen where you translation uh, are uh, the translation is done look at uh, you have kind of have like two main columns this column which is the, the original uh, like uh, string actually the, the the source language and then these are the translation that I added uh, in fuller you can see them uh, I, and then you have also a small like uh, uh, a small screen here that will give you like the status of uh, the the each uh, each string here it's like translated normally uh, it it uh, should be in uh, in English because the interface is in English. So anyway, so what I should do is just like go to the un untranslated string and uh, and uh, start translating. For instance, this one is saved. What is in uh, interesting here is what there is a translation memory uh, like keeping everything I've already translated uh, like in a file where the 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 program can go and check if like translations already exist if a translation already exists it will sh actually show show up here and also it give you the percentage of like adequation to our own like string the one we want to translate right now so if it is like 100 percent it means that the string you're translating and the string that is uh, like stored in the memory are exactly the same. Well, all you have to do is select, tick, double click, and it's there. Okay, and then just hit uh, enter to go to the next string. So if you see, uh, I've already like d done a lot of translation. Like it keeps all the memory, which is really really handy. Every single word, phrase, or sentence. That you've already like uh, stored in the in the in the terminology will uh, will appear here and will have also percentages. So if you have uh, have a look at uh, like all these uh, uh, like four uh, translations of uh, the the word active. So you, you have the one that's 100 percent. That's obviously the one we're going to use because it uh, matches exactly. Uh, our our translation, but also we want to look at the other alternatives and see what what they are re actually. If you look at the sec the second one, which is like uh, uh, eighty three percent, it shows you actually uh, what what is not matching your translation. So if we see here, uh, why it gives you eighty three percent because the 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 A is highlighted in yellow and the A is actually. Uh, in small in a small letter so uh, while our original uh, uh, string it starts with a capital so that's that's why it says uh, the first letter does not match and it is actually highlights it in in uh, in yellow if you look at the second it's uh, exactly the same 83 percent highlighted in yellow the, the a does not match because it's not in the capital the second the the last one is actually 75 percent look because the a matches uh active so you have active what doesn't match is the a and the t so it's, it says 
if if you change uh, the A and the T and put a V, you will get 100%. That's what the, you see. Actually, it tells you a lot of information. Uh, usually, when you start translating, you don't look at them because uh, you're just concerned with like the one which is 100%. So let's uh, uh, select our 100% and uh, and just uh, put uh, go uh, to the next string. Again, we have 100% uh, here, so we're going to uh, go to the next one. And again, 100%. Look, it means that uh, I have already translated this file and it, it, it keep, is keeping everything in memory. Hi, and welcome back to the tutorial on Virtal and uh, Poodle. We have uh, already like uh, gone through a uh, um, uh, the first stage, which uh, was just to show what I mean the two tools look like and uh, what, how um, how are they they use what uh, what is their use actually in translating localizing this, at this stage uh, will be uh, some like that that's hands on translating uh, uh, actually showing people how like we, we translate with Virtual first and then how we translate to with uh, uh, with uh, Poodle. So what I'm going to do right now is just like to go and start uh, uh, Virtual. It's so already started here. Now if you can see it is uh, quite simple and everything in the interface is kept at minimal. But that is like to give uh, way to the most, most important thing is just like translating checking translations and, and and like so if you look at the 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 menu you know it's uh it's quite simple no like long and uh, 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 complicated menus uh, that make uh, navigation uh, a little bit tedious uh, it's quite simple and uh, uh, the thing is you can see here it is in my language is in fuller but but it's important that you put it in your own language because uh, you will probably like have many messages and uh, doing checks and stuff so you have to understand what's being said so it's very easy actually to change language so I'm gonna first of all do that it's it is important because you, before you can hack uh, the the the, lang the file that uh, that uh, that is uh, stored in your computer to switch languages you've got to close Virtal otherwise it will switch back to the default language okay so I'll go to my uh, exp explorer window or if you have Linux it is going to be a, a dot Virtal uh, folder uh, so if you see here it's I just go to user myself and then up data roaming and you have a Virtal folder okay if you look at here you got update roaming and then you have the virtual folder here and there's a, a file called here virtual.ini which you have to just to open and uh, just edit you know if you see actually you have a few parameters that you can edit and uh, the one that we need uh, like for this purpose it's just this one the user interface language so all we have to do is just like uh, to put it into your own language just put the two uh, letter language code here I'm just putting English uh, to to make the interface uh, to put it in English okay so just save and then and then just exit and the next time you start Virtal it's going to be in in English so so we'll start Virtal again so now you see it is English file uh, edit uh, etc okay so the important thing uh, we're going to do here is just like to go to uh, a translation file and start translating. That's all uh, uh, all we want to do here, showing uh, a few features of uh, Virtual. So I'm going to maybe go to a, um, uh, a CMO for instance is complete. I have many projects that are complete. So I'm going to maybe to go to o OL PC and then go to eToys. I'm sure there are many things uh, that are not uh, 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 translated yet. Okay, right. So now it is loaded. You we, you have here one. The first column is actually the file, uh, the 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 source language here, and then uh, the 
the second column will be like the, the translations. Okay, once you translate, you have uh, the source language here and the translation here. If you see here, you have a navigation uh, like uh, check box, uh, drop down box, sorry, which is very, very handy. We'll come to that uh, later. And then you have the actual uh, like uh, field where there is the 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 so the source language and this field this empty field is actually where we we put the translation and then if you look at uh, uh, the on the left you will see here you, we have a, a a bar that tells us something it it means that's the not not translated yeah you normally the this bar should be in English I am um, I have no idea why it's not uh, in English uh, but I'm sure the one in Fuller is uh, all fuller okay right so maybe the translation in French is not uh, uh, in English maybe is not complete or oh, yeah I, I don't really know okay right so uh, there you, you just have to click on a st on any string like this one and then go to translate so one important thing in Virtual is that it is like it has translation memory it means like everything you've ever translated using Virtual in this computer will be stored in a terminology file and you will actually have uh, uh, like uh, uh, strings uh, entire strings that are stored uh, in the translation memory for instance here for for button we already have like suggestion it is going actually to the translation memory and and checking if the 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 word the string you want to translate or even an entire text you want to translate has uh, something that matches it. So we have here this one that matches. It's a hundred percent. It means that this one is good. So we all, we just have to to select it and and click. Uh, actually, um, the type uh, on our computer uh, the the enter key to get uh, to get it uh, stored. Okay, right now we have another one here. So let's try to. To, to just like translate here I'm translating into fuller because if you look at uh, the bottom right you can see here it's uh, English uh, to to full full day so just like translating now mm, so it should have one T so to no oh, what's something that's very important uh, when you 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 start translating it will actually tell you what's what what's going on in the translation you have like real time checks it's checking real time what you're doing so it say it telling me here that i have a uh, like two lines and and we, we i need to have two lines if I, if i don't do it it will it will tell me that i didn't do it okay it's a shame it's in french so i'm not sure why it's in french it's maybe it's just like uh, because I have a, a French operating system, but the fuller interface is, doesn't have this. Okay, right. So, uh, so when I when I when I check, uh, when I do the checks, actually in real time, it makes it more important to 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 use Virtual because when you tr upload to Portal, you will have like less things to check because you'll have many. Uh, errors that have already cor been corrected in in Virtual. Okay, so he it, it tells us here that all the problems that that exist. So you have like uh, we have like white space problem. We had line endings and everything. So uh, different line endings, different white space. You see, these checks are in real time. So if I if I like if my translation is correct, it will just like uh, erase all these uh, checks, meaning that uh, what. Uh, the, the, the what I translated is correct. So let me just type this uh, in fuller. Okay, right now, now we have to how how do we go to 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 the to the next line? Okay, if we hit enter, obviously it will like go to the next string. But what we have to do is to 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 press uh, alt and uh, arrow you know alt and right arrow you you see like here i have selected this sign and if i uh, if i want to reproduce it 
in uh, in my translation i just uh, keep like alt press and put uh, down arrow so i what i did was alt right to select it alt down just insert to insert it so i can uh, actually uh, type the the second line so i'm going to just finish And, and that's it. You see, see, like in the in the check uh, uh, area, there is nothing actually because it, it said that this is good. But uh, imagine if I make I make a mistake, just like a, I print a full stop and there is no full stop. Immediately it will tell me we have a problem with like end punctuation. So this is very important because Vital uh, actually uh, is here to check what you if you doing is is good. Okay. Uh, if I if I like delete the the the, the full stop, uh, and automatically it will disappear because it says that it is good. We are, we've like we can like simulate many many errors like this. For instance, uh, when uh, we we have uh, like the shortcuts you have on your on actu on the actual like program uh, when you don't like put the ac the accelerators. Uh, sign it will tell you so this is very important so we can go to the next one and uh, <clears throat> maybe I should like just go to this one that has some uh, yes this one does have some some like uh, uh, slashes and stuff to see what I do look if I if I f type for instance IP in uh, like an IP should be like in capital if I put IP in uh, in small letters it will automatically tell me there's a problem with acronyms there's a problem with like uh, it's this is too short too brief it tells it says you also I didn't start with a capital letter it tells me also there's different capitalization there's a problem with like spaces and address addresses they don't match everything so it's uh, it tells you that actually you have to be careful about all these things because these are important actually when the these uh, translations are put like into use in a in a program and when you make like some kinds of, uh, of mistakes they might like even like crash the program or just fail uh, to 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 work okay so this is just one uh, aspect of vital which is really 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 important uh, which shows that uh, it is an uh, an awesome uh, uh, program that is just not here to do what it is supposed to do like um, translating but also checking whether what you uh, you're doing or is uh, good or not okay uh, so another aspect of vital is very in is very interesting is navigation okay uh, we've already seen like uh, the translation memory like gives you uh, matches to actually the the string that you are you, you're translating and uh, so like if you, sh if you choose more so it's probably like already translated so I have it a uh, hundred percent in many uh, uh, instances so why do we have like different hundred percent because it depends what you s more is is not the same word in fuller depending on what you are saying so this is quite this is really important so all you have to do is double click and then uh, actually uh, uh, so what I should do is uh, maybe uh, just make some kind of mistake here and then go uh, and, and ask uh, the uh, ask the uh, Vital to, to, to mark this as fuzzy it means that it's not good immediately you see all fuzzy strings are, are like uh, uh, like highlighted with gray so this is also important imagine that sometimes you have an update of uh, a language file that's uh, got like many many fuzzy strings that you want to work on is it's very very easy to start doing them by going straight to the 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 gray the gray highlights so uh, but also there is something more important like it's just to use the navigation uh, drop down list here what what does this mean it means like like if you say you can search all words or you can also uh, search you can, like you can display all words and then or s search one string you can also go straight to the ones that are not complete this is very important imagine you have a file with like 80% uh, 
which is already translated and there are fuzzy strings there are incomplete strings and everything all you have to do is like to 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 ask him to go to to directly to strings that need work that's incomplete strings and then uh, it it takes you there and once you translate and hit like if you translate this and hit uh, and hit uh, okay it will still be great so what you have to do is when you finish you you have to to uh to press uh, control uh, enter so it's uh, it's it's stored in the memory and it's no longer marks as fuzzy so very very important uh, so uh, another as aspect of vital is like checking uh, uh your your work your work progress so that's what i do usually when i uh, when I finish translating, sometimes there might be just one string that is hidden somewhere and you can't see it. So all you have to do is go to, go to File and go to Properties. This is very important to check if uh, actually your your translation is, is complete. So you had you had how many here, how many words and how many strings. Since in uh, like language files, in like Mozilla language files, sometimes you get uh, empty strings. Uh, you will have here like the here it will not be complete here so maybe you have two empty, empty strings it will not display 100% here and here it will display like 100% of strings but not 100% of words because uh, there there is a problem when uh, uh, you don't know if a string is just empty or you forgot so if you come here it will tell you so this is what i do usually i just look like how many uh, words are here and how many are here the one that are not translated sometimes you get all translated sometimes you got you get here 100 percent and you get here uh, maybe some, uh, all strings have been translated but not all words because some some strings do not have words actually so uh, basically uh, this is a, a short uh, uh, tutorial just to sh show you how how virtual works and once you finish actually you, so you save uh, uh, you can also update uh, to to a template and export uh, uh, actually uh, your your work so uh, that's uh, all for virtual and in the next section we're going to go to portal and see how we can directly like t uh, translate in in uh, in portal so i'm not going to save this uh, and that's it thank you right so after we've like finished uh, showing uh, some of the more most important features of uh, of vital uh, so now it's time like to go to portal to to just show how you actually translate strings uh, and uh, also uh, what are the, the main features uh, of uh, of a portal that uh, you, you can use uh, and uh, the, the things that you need uh, to to understand so here we have like uh, I've chosen the project Firefox browser for Android and uh, you can see here like all like uh, 36 lang supported languages with like different uh, progress levels so I'm gonna just choose like fuller here so you if you have you, you see that for each language you have the name and then you have the progress bar you also have like uh, how many strings actually how many words sorry and also how many words that need uh, translation so you have the total that need translation also you have also the last activity actually here you can see that for firefox uh, uh, for some time it will keep like the name of the, and the time of like the last person who who who, who, who worked on on that file and on that particular language and um, you if you haven't worked for quite some time it will just like uh, not keep the date for for so that's what i understood from here so uh, instead of like clicking on remaining on the f you can click on the fuller folder or click on the like the the string that the words that need translation so i'm going to since we are ju just doing our hands-on translation work uh, quickly just click to get to the translation work and to 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 start like translating strings so uh, okay right so you see the interface of uh, like um, a portal is a uh, 
a little bit more complicated than uh, than in uh, in Vital, but still uh, uh, it is uh, quite clear. You, you know where things are. First of all, you have the breadcrumbs here that uh, show where we are. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not really satisfied with like the things that have changed on, in the breadcrumbs because uh, it should respect uh, like. So if you're here in project, we should have then then language and then like uh, the actual uh, project file, like project language, Firefox OIS, project language, uh, uh, Firefox for Android. Like here, if you see in the location bar, we have like the uh, the server and then fuller and then mobile, etc. So you you it should be like that. We find a bug, and I'm sure uh, all the guys that are working on Poodle are taking care of this. So that said, you you have like uh, also all these like tabs that you can that you can use here. It's the overview of that's uh, the tab we uh, we just left, and then you have like uh, the translate tab here. You have the terminology tab, permissions, etc. Permission to set like who's allowed to do what. News. The news tab is also important. It says, like, uh, for instance, if you click it, you, you, you know, you can type news and say, like, uh, uh, I'm doing a tutorial on uh, on uh, on a portal or su such and such uh, uh, has uh, like uh, joined such te uh, a group or something like that. You can also like uh, just uh, it, it also automatically like logs uh, uh, everything that people have uh, uploaded. Okay. So if you go to the translate uh, tab, uh, which uh, is what, why we're here, uh, you have like one part of the the page is dedicated to actual translating. You have the string here, which is the original one, and then you have the translation. If you see, this one is marked as incomplete because uh, it's uh, it needs work. It it it's not uh, so when it needs work, like when it it is labeled as like needs work means it just means fuzzy if you if you see if it goes like italic uh, if you you know if it goes italic now when you uh, actually want to translate just click on a string so let's come back here um, okay we have here one example of a string that is uh, fuzzy so it means needs work that's why the it's in italic so what we have to do is like check to see what the problem is and just like uh, don't show menu uh, this is perfect I um, don't know why it is marked as fuzzy so I'm gonna just submit so if you see also we have also another uh, translation that is uh, fuzzy and uh, we we just have to check what what the problem is and then start translating so I'm gonna go to uh, an empty string to show yes uh, we have here an empty string uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, like update available click and stuff so we we can translate it into into full up uh, submit suggest also we can like instead of like submitting we have to suggest some some people don't have like rights to submit directly uh, they suggest and then once uh, the admin comes, can the admin can actually validate the suggestions and stuff. So you, if you look at uh, the interface, also you you can see here on the on the right, on the left, sorry, you have the where the file the file location where it is and its name, and then also we have terminology. It means that like all the words that are used in uh, in the string uh, uh, are like here you can you can choose like. Uh, the, the 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 terminology here, the translation, which is also from uh, the the memory, but you have to be careful. But sometimes you know it it's just like maybe it's not a v it's a verb or a noun and anything. You have to just check. It just give you an indication that the word uh, that exists in the terminology, so you have to adapt it to make your your translation, okay? And then uh, so I'm gonna uh, uh, show you actually. Uh, examples where we have uh, 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 a label like needs work and where it is explained what the problem is. Sometimes actually uh, like uh, Vital, Poodle also 
tells you what is wrong it just it's just it does it differently so if you see here on the right you can see we have a ending white space problem that's a that is a failing check so so Pluto also tells you not in real time but when you submit and you come back to the string it will tell you what's wrong so uh, we have we, we need here an ending an ending what is an ending white space it's just a white at white we need a white space white space uh, or we have put a white space that shouldn't be there so what we have to do here is just look at the string i think we we have let's just like to put like three three dots here and we can we can save or oh, sometimes you can also like just uh, copy it and 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 paste it uh, paste uh, yeah just paste it those, those dots and and submit so when i submit i can also uh, come back i can also come back to the string and you see now the uh, it has disappeared i mean the 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 failing check uh, is no longer there because we've corrected it so also in some in a way put already also uh, give you uh, gives you like uh, uh, indications on the quality of uh, what you what you're doing okay good and also in Putal you can also uh, uh, filter like your how you navigate I, I can go to untranslated directly okay it yes you know when I select untranslated it can it can go directly to untranslate I can also s like uh, uh, search as a, a word uh, or a phrase here in the un untranslated or just like click untranslated I will get like more uh, more strings that are not translated you know all the strings on the page are not okay uh, important in uh, portal is uh, uh, to uh, uh, to go straightly to to need needs work and then you have also the fuzzy strings that you you have to tr you can translate okay let's go to checks checks are quite important because when you uh, when you translate when you translate in Poodle it is more difficult to see checks in real time okay so what you have to do is like to go to this folder like Firefox or Android and then click on uh, expand details here if you expand l details it will tell you like we have already this information but you have more information here like on critical you have like failing checks these are the things that needs absolutely to be corrected you have uh, the critical the functional the cosmetic and also you have uh, extraction okay the 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 critical like speaks for itself you know you have to correct these because they 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 they're not good so we, what we have to do is just click on them it will take us to the the string and we will see what the problem is so here you can see directly what the failing checks are you got an accelerators uh, what this means uh, is that you you have probably added uh, a sign of of um, like uh, the accelerator sign which is here uh, and uh, and it shouldn't be there actually this uh, this device has a, a real problem this sorry this uh, string has a real problem because we have seen here it's uh, like placeholders are the problem and double quotes double quotes is quite simple it is like this HTML uh, code uh, sign that we should just like uh, delete and replace by quotes so we delete it here and replace it by quotes that will solve the problem of double code so what I'll do is just like uh, uh, submit and uh, and uh, and come back okay I'll come back to the the string so where is our string um, so let's see so I have to put F F5 to update the string so so when you when you have the checks here accelerators uh, that's not where we were let's check the string is it this um, okay to activate your device okay right so here also we have a problem with like uh, this that we should replace just by if you see here sync setup is just like between uh, between quotations and then when you do this and uh, it 
will accept so I submitted it so that's how you actually correct uh, errors in uh, in portal by going to the checks and then actually um, uh, correcting by looking at like the failing checks uh, that are indicated uh, by you can also like uh, select checks here and then go to uh, directly to some to the, the the categories of checks so you've got like brackets du double codes ending punctuation you have simple capitalization also when you 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 select it it will take you to simple capitalization checks uh, and sometimes it's not really uh, an, an error it's just it's just called a false positive well, it means that like so if you take fuller for instance fuller See, it, it, when it says uh, seven days ago, it doesn't put seven at the beginning. It says Wadi uh, Balde. Yeah, so, so the, the way of saying seven uh, days ago in Fula, the seven is at the end. So when we start uh, translating, it will say it's an error, but it is not. It is like just like Putal is, is, still, very, is still very much like English centered, and everything that does not look like English is uh, considered as an error. I don't know, maybe it needs maybe too much work to adapt it to specifically to to the, the target language, but I'm not sure how feasible is that. But actually sometimes you have to ignore a, a, a lot of like uh, uh, check, failing, failing checks because they're not really errors. It's just like the difference between English and the target and the target language okay so we've seen like uh, uh, the, the the checks when we when we correct all the checks uh, and usually we we come back to like expand here the details and we'll, we will see them all disappear okay you have like uh, these are unchanged these are URLs that are not uh, typed correctly and stuff so Basically, you've seen uh, that translating is put in Poodle is uh, uh, quite straightforward to just like go to uh, the translation the translation f field and then and then type the translation in your in your language. But you have to be careful then to come back to the overview and uh, check if there aren't any any errors by like expanding details here and looking at errors, etc. Right. I I also I hope um, uh, this uh, uh, tutorial, which is not that uh, complete because Poodle is even more sophisticated than that, uh, just like a, a a way to to show a few basic features and and since it is quite simple and straightforward, like you will learn a lot by by doing, uh, and uh, things become uh, like very smooth once you you get used to it okay so I hope this uh, uh, was useful to you next uh, step is actually showing we've seen like the two separately now the magic is to use these these like together as a tandem what I call a deadly efficient tandem because uh, uh, it's, it's j they just have things that complete uh, uh, complete one another and uh, and and that's what we have to exploit and that's what we're going to show how the two interact how can we use the features that they, they that make them different to make uh, actually a workflow that is uh, uh, very very e efficient and to show actually that it works uh, so uh, see you at the next stage thank you Thank you and welcome back to this uh, tutorial on uh, Poodle and uh, Vertal. Actually, uh, in the previous section, we saw um, uh, in like each of the two um, programs uh, the the tips and uh, all the features that are necessary to know to um, uh, to be more more efficient in in localizing. Uh, it's really important. Uh, I mean. The section we are going to now is um, uh, what like kind of synthesizes all these uh, features uh, from uh, the two programs and then makes the best of it 
and that's what I used to call like the perfect workflow because it's been really really efficient uh, when I uh, uh, started localizing Firefox and uh, and then I started like uh, the more I got experience like uh, um, uh, translating uh, from uh, Puto or from Virtal I I just found out that you know if we took what's missing in each of them and put them together uh, it, it's really really a powerful uh, uh, a workflow and it helps like uh, the localized localization process be like more efficient and uh, it also kind of boosts like speed and boost efficiency and boosts morale uh, because uh, you know uh, as you, you you translate you become uh, like more motivated and we're going to see uh, why I'm saying this uh, so first of all we since we are going to translate offline uh, so the first thing to do is like to to uh, let me just explain that we are going to 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 translate offline with Virtal and then we're going to re-upload uh, the translated files to Puto. Uh, so we have to get organized between like uh, Virtal and Puto, uh, like via our like desktop our computer where we store files before we uploading them to to the to the server uh, so first of all uh, we are here on the interface of uh, uh, uh portal project so i'm going i'm going to to choose uh firefox uh, uh for mobile so that's uh firefox for android aurora uh so this this is what i want to to translate today uh, actually it's updates because it's been uh, on aurora for quite some time and i'm actually using it in my own uh, phone uh, and uh, uh, it helps me also test translation so so i'm going to scroll down to my to my language fuller which is here and then uh, here what i'm going to do is since i'm not going to translate in uh, is I'm not going to translate in uh, in uh, this in the server, but I'm going to download the the files. So it's pretty simple. When you go look at the left side here, you see like translate offline, manage. Uh, uh, so we just uh, uh, click on download zip uh, because the, it's going to just like uh, to zip all the the files in one file and then. So we're going to uh, put them uh, uh, so me personally I, I'm going to put them in my localization folder you can see it here uh, it's just a kind of like library uh, windows so I uh, I'm going to create since the name of the the folder has changed in Putal, I'm going to create another folder and and just call it call it Firefox Firefox for Firefox for Android okay Firefox for Android so I'm gonna uh, so the mobile FF is actually a, a, a complex uh, a compressed file so I'm going to call it mobile uh, I, I'll add Firefox uh, Firefox mobile just in small letters Firefox yes mobile uh, fuller FF so uh, so I'll just let the file download okay right so we can see here on the download uh, in uh, in the actually the download bar we can see uh, we can get to the folder where we saved it so all I have to do now is to unzip unzip it with WinRAR, just like drag it here, and then so I had I have my 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 folder here. So I can actually delete the zipped file, but I just leave it here. You know, doesn't matter. And then th here's the magic. What what we're going to do is uh, we want to make sure that we start translating the biggest files. For me, what I what I'm saying is. 
uh, uh, if we translate at random, sometimes we get a file with uh, that's two th strings and then another file with 20. And you know, it's for me the most interesting thing is to start with the biggest files and then finish the biggest files then start doing the smallest and and while we are translating files become smaller and that is very interesting and i used to say as i said uh, in my presentation in in warsaw uh, last year i say when you have a group of person attacking you that are, these are the files so I, I mean if you knock down the strongest one all the the other one you will like will run will run away because uh, uh, you know, the, you knocked the strongest ones or the weak ones. You say, okay, now this guy is too strong. Let's, you know, it's just like the way uh, you attack files because you know a project like Firefox for instance is a huge project and it's it's very intimidating. So you too, you have to play like that. Intimidate, attack big files, knock them down, and the small files will 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 be scared, and so uh, so you win. So as we've seen here, what I do is actually uh, go to uh, to the go back to the f uh, server, uh, and then what I'm going to do is try to locate the biggest files in this particular folder. So to do so, all I have to do is go to the column of uh, like f the folders or the files that need translation and try to sort them from biggest to to smallest okay here we don't have many folders so uh, it's quite easy so sometimes we have quite a lot of folders like for for five for or for instance so now instead of clicking on like the links where to go to the ones that need translation we, we're going to still to uh, the folder itself we click it to see within within that folder if we have like uh, uh, also files that are big uh, or are smaller. So here we see that we have uh, 128 uh, words, but we don't know if it's one 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 file or many. So let's let's go to Chrome. Oh yes, now here we are uh, actually in the files themselves, so we, we can't go further. So as we can see here, we have the biggest file here, which is uh, browser properties, and uh, the second biggest is uh, uh, just 12. But if you have 12 uh, words in this uh, in this file, you make sure that it's it's the second biggest, you know, uh, after 100 and and and, uh, and four. So to do so, we can go back to you know we leave this folder and go to the this folder. You see, we have like a, a, a Android strings with, which has like 47 words. So it is bigger actually than uh, the file uh, that is uh, here so make sure that you in within within a folder you you're not going to have like uh, the, just the the biggest and the second biggest and you have to move around in folders so what we do here just leave the window here and go to, to vectal because uh, we're going to start translating so i'm going to uh, go to vectal and then what i'll do is open open uh, my, uh, the, f the file if you can see uh, here we have browse browser properties and it's this file that we want to open in 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 Vertal. so what we have to do is just to follow this mobile 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 Android Chrome so what we can do and it's also interesting that um, when you go to your to your folder you can also sort the folders from like uh, last modified you know this is the one we've just created and it's it's right above the other other files so all we have to do is to, to go to mobile mobile chrome uh, it was not chrome i think it was uh, mobile mobile of android android chrome and uh, we had uh, if we forget you can just go back here and see it's a uh, mobile mobile android chrome and uh, browser properties so browser properties is here so we have we just open it right yes good so we're here now as i told you in the second section of our tutorial you you you, you can see that all these like highlighted uh, strings are the ones that are that are, are fuzzy there it means that they need work you also have like empty 
uh, empty strings that have uh, that are not uh, uh, translated yet. So since we have uh, a file that's fairly well uh, translated and the, you know there are not any uh, many like fuzzy or anything, all we have to do is to navigate. We're not going to start from the beginning because we know all these are fine. So all we have to do is to navigate to incomplete uh, uh, strings. So we have this one to navigate to incomplete strings. So the first one that is not complete is going to come first and then when you hit uh, enter it will go on to like uh, another one that needs work. Okay, so that kind of like it makes you like, just skip all the strings that don't need uh, any anything. So I'm going to take just just a few a few seconds or a minute to to translate this so we have here also um uh, uh, you know i highlighted uh, the 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 number one here because it's some sp some special character that needs to be copied from the from the 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 source language so uh, so it's highlighted with uh, alt right the right arrow and then alt down to copy okay so I'm gonna just uh, so in fuller hadi so de le lore hadi de lore udide udide henorde henorde supitere henorde supitere so so adaidi You, so and then we have a we have to highlight you know when you when you highlight this the, f the first one and then you uh, it's number one here in red uh, after you've copied you've copied it um, you, you it's it's automatically highlighted I mean the sec the next one is automatically highlighted so all you have to do is alt down to copy it and then and then uh, keep keep on translating. Uh, so I forgot my my character here. And then uh, okay, one other thing uh, about uh, Virtal, it, it also like it has a sort of like uh, it's, it's it predicts the word that you you're going to use you're going to type if it's a uh, uh, if the word is already uh, uh, translated in. Uh, in, in Vital, it's on already in the memory. So actually, uh, Vital remembers strings, but also remem remembers words that uh, have been t previously typed. So, f for instance, I'm going to type uh, "prevented," which is quite uh, which is quite short. So it's not going to actually complete it. It, it tends to to ignore short words. Uh, so we'll see. Okay, maybe this following word once you type uh, let me first like save okay save and go to this string yes i'm here okay so i'm gonna see if it's going to remember well yes look you you have to type a minimum of four letters before it it uh, like completes the, the it predicts the rest so I was going to say, oh, it proposes this one, but I'm not satisfied with this one. I, I want to, yes. So it always like kind of remembers the words if uh, it's been translated before. That's a really nice feature. And it makes it really, it makes your, your typing uh, absol uh, absolutely uh, fast because you don't need to type like all the long words that have been translated before. So let me just finish this. Uh, so, the also is going to be completed. Yes. So, had in the Lord did So we have to put this into plural. Yes, 
uh, and then we need to highlight the number two here and then copy it okay you just finish here can repeat it yes okay other ed hello did it that's it okay what's interesting here is we have a a, an, a, a check here that tells us that we've uh, we have like a double space it is it is true because we have it here so all we have to do is like to reduce the space to one and uh, now we're done and as you can see it goes straight to the next uh, uh, which was a fuzzy one uh, since we have uh, a matching uh, string here all you have to do double click but don't forget if it was fuzzy it's control enter uh, so uh, it get uh, it gets like uh, saved okay and then if you have uh, noticed if you, our navigation has has gone back to all okay so what if you want to go to the incomplete ones please select it here and come back to start uh, translating again so don't show okay it says don't show but here it's don't allow so we 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 have to it's all like don't allow don't allow so we can use don't allow and change allow to to show or to hulu I, imagine you want to to type hulu like uh, it's it show it it actually completes it with hulu day which is the verb to show so if you don't need to add it's not a verb you have to stop there just ignore it it will not uh, be typed it, it is it actually you if you want to accept uh, a prediction just uh, uh, just uh, click on uh, sorry uh, press the tab button and then it, it records uh, the the proposition now it is simple we 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 kind of like go uh, straight to the next one don't don't send uh, or to do here we have 90 percent as you can understand it says si simple case so it tells us what's wrong what what's preventing us from having uh, 100 percent and now it's done and remember all fuzzy uh, stuff have to be, has to be like uh, saved with control and uh, uh, and enter so what i'll do now is just like keep on translating and pause the video and keep on translating uh, since we've seen like examples here okay yeah so uh still uh finishing the file here so we we are like translating this last ones so another hit uh, uh, of control and uh, and uh, enter now i think we have uh, translated all the strings here so to to be sure like to we, we can't always check visually if we've made uh, if we've translated all or what so we have first to save and then go to properties file properties and see if we are we have we are done so you see like we are 100 percent with words 100 percent with strings so this file is is good so actually it is uh, recommended what what i recommend is so uh, if we have like we're connected to the internet is to to translate offline and to 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 upload uh, straight away because since all the files are in within folders like uh, translating all and then uploading one by one is is quite tedious because you have to like switch to another folder and everything it's, it's quite tedious i think the best thing is since we finished uh, uh, this one browser properties uh, the convenient thing is that we 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 upload actually this uh, file to the same window where we have uh, actually um, downloaded it. So you, you you've seen here download. It's uh, from uh, the link from from which we downloaded the files on uh, like on a zip format. Now all we have to do is to upload uh, in the same page. So that's why I said it is faster when you actually. Uh, open a, f a folder download and then after down f downloading you translate and then you 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 re-upload 
if we are loading from the same page is very very interesting first first of all just look at this uh, window it is really fantastic why because using windows transparency actually you can uh, still see where uh, the file is so all i have to do is like going to, to browse my uh, imagine i i just for, i forget where i put actually the file all i have to do i forgot the file I'm, I was working with all I have to do is to look through here you, you see the transparency showing you that we are in mobile mobile Android Chrome so what what's uh, funny about it is just Windows transparency uh, was uh, uh, invented probably for another another reason so we will find it a really good use uh, uh, of the transparency in Windows 7 unfortunately it's uh, it's been removed from Windows 8 and well that's another story just to tell you that this has been really really useful for me to just look through this window without just having to switch like window windows so we are on mo mobile mobile Android Chrome so it's very easy we're already on mobile so we go to Android and then Chrome now here you have many many files the best thing to do is to sort the files from the last modified to the uh, I mean to, to down to I mean the oldest one so if you see uh, since we we have uh, sorted uh, the files uh, from the last modified up down to I mean the the, the oldest file we we have the our file right at the beginning of the list so all we have to do is to select it and then to go download okay before you 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 download uh, you upload sorry to the server there's a few things to take into account first of all since you are downloading a, a file uh, uh, you have downloaded and then changed a file you need to overwrite the the file that was in this on the server otherwise i mean it would we wouldn't make sense to download a file to change it to re-upload it and not like getting it to override the file that all that exists there so you make changes like to to have the latest file that's the file you've just been working on so overwriting overwriting it is very important to to uh, to to select not merging or anything or like the worst is like all new trans translation as suggestion it's going to mark all as fuzzy and you you have to start all all, all over again and also we have another uh, drop down list here where we have all the uh, all the files that are here look so we these files are all, all already the list of the files that are on the server once again windows transparency help us to see through uh, our our window here so we can uh, uh, now you have two options I, either you select browse the properties and it's going to be uh, uploaded there it's browse the properties this one is the one we've been like working on but actually if since uh, the name here is browser properties uh, as long as the name is the same you don't need actually to select the the, the 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 file it's going to upload it with the same name and it's going to overwrite this one so all we have to do is to upload the file and you will see we're going to uh, from 100 and uh, stuff to to zero you know the file is no longer at the top because it's it's now zero it's down it's already finished we uh, we have done uh, our uh, great work here just to finish our, our biggest files now the other files are ridiculously small so that's going to give us like more power or over them so uh, as I told you this uh, the the 12 uh, the words here are not uh, the second biggest so we have to go back to the root of the uh, of the folders to see if we have a bigger file than uh, 12 so probably yes we remember this with with, with like 47 uh, with 47 uh, uh, words okay once again all we have to do is to go to Virtal uh, this one just to close this one go to Virtal and open uh, open our our mobile mobile Android base and uh, Android strings so 
have to remember that. Would be nice if Vital was transparent too. Uh, so we have to go to mobile, uh, mobile, uh, sorry, uh, mobile, mobile on uh, base, under its strings, uh, open. Not very many, many like uh, strings, uh, maybe just like two strings that are fuzzy. So it's 47 words. Uh, like we had a uh, hundred and uh, and two words in this previous file now we have uh, just uh, a very small um, job to do here uh, and that's it so we don't have uh, any problems here so this one also has to be done so we, all we have to do is to, rem to remove this we have simple and um, let's put it into small case and uh, control we hit enter and then we we save we check properties and you see 100 percent 100 percent ready to to upload all we have to do is to do exactly the same upload override overwrite go to uh, mobile yes android base android strings so android strings is uh, the first one because uh, it's the one we've just uh, uh, edited and it's at the top okay once again you don't need to select you can select its name here but you can also just leave it because it, it it's going to be uploaded with the same name so it's it's like uh, necessarily going to overwrite so all we have to do is upload and you go from uh, now we only have like the 47 uh, words uh, are done uh, we can also go to second uh, to the second uh, file and do the same so just uh, have a look at what uh, uh, we've been doing here we finished uh, uh, like translate translating the files and we upload it to portal and you see it's very simple and the key th thing is to actually uh, uh, like start with bigger files and finish with smaller files. Thank you. Thank you.